Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look. It's just a really glittery, dark gray, gunmetal, smoky eye. I'm using the Gunmetal Stack by Melt Cosmetics. I love their stacks. I have all of them. They are so good. They are very, very pricey, but I feel like Melt Cosmetics, they're so innovative, they're so edgy. I love Melt as a brand. I will say, if you're working with the Gunmetal Stack specifically, you need to do your eyeshadow before you do the rest of your face makeup. The last two shades in the stack, these two right here, this one is industrial and this one is gunmetal. They have a lot of fallout. A lot of fallout. Even the top shade, I, there's only one matte shade in the stack. This one has a lot of fallout as well. So you want to make sure you are doing your eyes first. I did my eyes first and even I have some fallout on my face. You have to be very careful with these. I don't have that problem with the other stacks. It's just this one specifically since they're kind of like pressed glitters. They're eyeshadows, but they're very glittery. Enough rambling. If you want to see how to get this smoky eye, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to jump into eyeshadow because I already primed my lids. My lids are good to go, and I'm going to take the shade Assimilate from the Melt Cosmetics Gunmetal Stack, and I'm using a fluffy brush, and I'm just applying this into my crease. And then I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer, and with my finger, I'm gonna apply this to my entire lid. I'm not passing the crease, but I'm doing this because I went in with the shade Gunmetal, which is this shade right here. And if I don't go in with a sticky base or like a glitter primer underneath, there won't be much pigment, like it'll just be little glitters. So adding the glitter primer really intensifies the eyeshadow. Now I'm going back into Assimilate on a smaller little crease brush and I'm really just buffing out this gunmetal shade. I will say it is a little bit difficult to work with just because this is a matte and we're trying to blend out a glitter. It's kind of difficult, but I did take my time with this. I'm just going back and forth with the shade Assimilate and blending out those edges. I thought the look needed just a hair of warmth. So on a fluffy brush, I took my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I just blended out the edges of the shade Assimilate just so everything looks like a nice gradient. To highlight underneath my brow bone, I'm actually taking this Makeup Forever M500 shade and putting that underneath my brow bone, like I said, to highlight. Then I went back into Assimilate on two different brushes <laughs> and I'm just buffing out those edges. It's just a lot of blending in the crease. And since we did so much blending, a lot of the glitter fell off. So I went back in with Gunmetal and just applied that to my lids. And then I'm jumping into the face before I finish up the eyes. This is a primer from the brand Imani. It's their Perfect 10 Primer Serum. And I'm just testing that out right now. And I'm also trying this primer out for the first time in this video. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. And so far so good, it really did smooth out the skin. I'm still testing it out, but I think I really like it. For foundation, I went with I went in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. This is in the shade 203, I believe, and it just, the undertone isn't right. It doesn't match my skin perfectly. But the formula is pretty good. It gives your skin a natural finish. For concealer, I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Fair, and I'm just highlighting my face and also covering up my dark circles and just blending that in with a sponge. To set my concealer, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And just I'm just setting all the places I applied the concealer because I don't feel like this foundation needs to be set, but my concealer do. So to finish off the eyes, I'm taking a black eyeliner on my waterline and on my tight line. This is the Essence Smoky Black Kajal Fat Chubby, you know, one of those Kajal things. It's really good and so affordable. But for my lower lash line, I am just taking the shade Assimilate and really blending that out. And then I went into this Wet n Wild trio called Plaid to the Bone. And I took the blue color in the trio and I'm blending this right on top of the Assimilate shade to create kind of like a blue gray color and then I just blended that out. And then I took some more of the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm applying that to my inner corner so that I can go over it with this shade. This one is called Harsh Stone White. And with a little blush, no, a little brush, I'm applying that to my inner corners and dragging it onto my lid as well. Then I just applied some mascara and I popped on some falsies. I used the Coco um, falsies in the shade Misha. And that completes the eye look. For contouring, I am using the Kevin Aquan um, sculpting powder in the shade Light just to give myself a little bit of contour. And then I took the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer on a bigger, fluffier brush to really just bronze up the skin. 
Then for blush, I took the Milani Rose Blush in the shade Awakening Rose, and I popped that on my cheeks. I love this blush. I bought mine on Amazon because I couldn't seem to find it anywhere. I think it was limited edition, but it's beautiful. If you can find it, get it. And then to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and my nose and all that good stuff, I took the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight and just put in that everywhere, as usual. For lips, I wanted a peachy color, but I didn't think it was gonna be as peach as this turned out. This is the Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Dirty Peach, but it was a little bit too neon for me. Like, it was a little bit unexpected. I was like, whoa, that's peach. So I decided to take a nude gloss on top and I applied the Dose of Colors gloss in the shade Undressed. And then that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.